Festivities wrapping up. The crowd is electric, and we'll be back to get it going right after this. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show presents the National League Division Series. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. Man, it's been fun so far, Boog, that's for sure. After splitting the first two, Game 3 takes on even more meaning than usual. You don't want to be the team that drops this one and then be faced with having to win two games in a row in order to take the series. That's tough. And now, yeah, the pressure on the starting yo, pitchers is big in this one. Each of them is being counted on to come through with a quality performance, hoping to save some of that bullpen for really critical games coming up. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Okay, all set to go. And now up for Washington, Steve Rogers. Off the afternoon for Washington, the shortstop, number 85. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball off the bill. That's a base hit. Batting second. Next to hit for the Nats, Colton Kowser. Let's go, right here. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Over to first, double play. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely, you feel so much more comfortable at the point. Back to the top of the lineup, next to hit, Steve Rogers. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Come on, let it fly right here. Let it fly. And a foul ball. Hey, one time, right now. And the right hander deals. On the ground. Dives and he can't hang on. He doesn't have a play, and he's on it first. Now batting. Number 20. Colton Kowser digging in for the Nationals. He's 0 for 1. Hey, one pitch right here. Come on now. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. All right, one time right here. Big hit right here. Here we go. Kicks and deals. Got him. And that'll do it. Nationals leave one. Still no score. Here's Orlando Arcia. The batter number 11. Shortstop, Orlando Arcia. The pitch. Albies on the move. Out to short. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now it's the power speed combo. Steve Rogers. Now that. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out and he makes all the plays. And he grounds one back up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and they can't get the out. First and second, two down. Now the number, number two 20. hitter, Colton Kowser. 
Here's a 1 1. That oh, misses. Boy. And a count 2 and 1. Two balls, one strike, the count. There we go. The 2-1. And that one fouled off. Ring Hifo over at second. Rogers on at first with two down. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Nationals one and the Braves nothing. So the Nets lineup turns over. Now it's going to be Steve Rogers. This guy has turned into a beast. He gets the intention to walk here and now will force at any base with two gone. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Cody Stashek. And he'll do his best to keep this close. Now pitching for Colton Kowser digging in for the Nationals. Cody Stashek. Hey, come on, baby. See it. Kicks and fires. On the ground at first. What a stop. And that's a nice play to end the inning. So the Nats leave a pair. They lead it 1 0. So the lineup flips over. Here is Ozzy Albies up to it. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. One, two now. On the ground a second, might be two. And that chance handled. Off balance feed, there's one. Over to first, safe. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. So the batting order turns over. Steve Rogers now at the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Come on, Chief, one time. Here we go. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. Ground ball left side could be two. Takes it to the bag. That's one. On to Olsen. That's two. Good 6-3 double play right there. Takes it himself. And it's a nice job to work closer to getting out of this inning. Ozzie Albies up to the plate. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. And the righty deals. Roll to short, could be two. Rogers, the throw to second. Ow, a double play to end it. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. Not a ton of offense to chat about as we look at the final numbers, but this was a good one. Yeah, it was a low-scoring game, Boog, but sometimes those can be the best, especially this time of year. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.